the Urban Challenge experience. It really set a strong foundation in me to uh, pursue social justice in not only larger service projects and activities, but also in just the way that I live my life. Basically, we invite, we invite people to come into the city of Camden and engage their faith through service and reflection uh, and, and, and activities that uh, address topics of our, of our day, social issues um, that relate to our faith, that interact with our faith. And um, through that, they engage in, in daily service and prayer and reflection, trying to find uh, where God is calling them in their lives. Today you headed out to three different service sites, right? We're giving kids experiences that they've never had before in their lives in some cases. We're calling them to live together in community with one another, sharing bathrooms and breakfast tables, sharing surface sites and lunch bags. Um, and, and those experiences are calling out a, uh, something in them that they may not have known was in there, the thirst or a desire or a hunger that they never knew they had in them. Um, and it's in those experiences that they realize life can be so much more uh, than what they've been sold and what they've been told. I know I see homeless people in Manhattan all the time, and I never really take like a second look at them. And after coming here, I've cut completely different experiences with it. And it's just remarkable how much you can change, like how much your view can change just from like having one conversation with someone. What you see here really opens your eyes and really makes your life, I guess it makes you more thankful for what you have and, and, and it gives you a sense of what people are experiencing and, and it gives you, it gave me a, a desire to help. What we hope happens when people come through our door is that they, they are transformed. That they engage in, in thought and reflection about themselves and about what God calls them to in a way they never had imagined. To do a 180 on their lives, to say, no longer am I going into life for myself, but I'm going into it for others, especially those in greatest need. The Romero Center Ministries have been immensely successful. They attract literally thousands of students from around the United States who come here to participate in service retreats, weekend-long, week-long service retreats. They come from California, from Florida, from Michigan, from everywhere. We get kids from all over the country who want to come here to participate in service programs. It's known among students as one of the most successful and popular service retreat programs in the United States. We charge fees for them to come, but unfortunately our fees don't cover our operating expenses. So we need support to underwrite our operating expenses so we can continue to offer the great programming that we do and attract more and more kids to come. Not to mention the fact that the building we operate out of is an old convent, which needs a new roof, needs a new HVAC system, needs new kitchen, needs new beds, needs new carpet, needs just about everything. It's a fairly tired old building, so we absolutely need the community support to restore this building to its uh, previous grandeur uh, and allow it to uh, provide a good facility for these kids to come for these retreat programs. We need both of those things.